Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us, San Roque. Pray for us, San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us, San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. The Lord heard and had mercy on me. The Lord became my helper. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins and ask the Father's forgiveness, for He is full of gentleness and compassion. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Show gracious favor, O Lord, we pray, to the works of penance we have begun, that we may have strength to accomplish with sincerity the bodily observances we undertake through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord God, cry out full-throated and unsparingly, leap up your voice like a trumpet blast, tell my people their wickedness and the house of Jacob their sins. They seek me day after day, and desire to know my ways. 
like a nation that has done what is just and not abandoned the law of their God. They asked me to declare what is due them, please to gain access to God. Why do we fast and you do not see it? Afflict ourselves and you take no note of it. Lo, on your first fast day, you carry out your own pursuits and drive all your laborers. Yes, your fast ends in quarreling and fighting, striking with wicked claw. Would that today you might fast so as to make your voice heard on high. Is this the manner of fasting I wish, of keeping a day of penance, that a man bow his head like a reed and lie in sackcloth and ashes? Do you call this a fast, a day acceptable to the Lord? This, rather, is the fasting that I wish, releasing those bound unjustly, untying the tongues of the yoke, setting free the oppressed, breaking every yoke, sharing your bread with the hungry, sheltering the oppressed and the homeless, clothing the naked when you see them, and not turning your back on your own. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn, and your wound shall quickly be healed. Your vindication shall go before you, and the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help, and he will say, Here I am. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin, cleanse me. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. For I acknowledge my offense, and my sin is before me always. Against you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. For you are not pleased with sacrifices. Should I offer a burnt offering, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. Please stand. Matuwid ang dapat gawin, masamay i-masanatin, at tao ay bubuhayin. Ang Diyos ay sasaatin, atin siyang makapagawin. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples of John approached Jesus and said, Why do we and the Pharisees fast much, but your disciples do not fast? Jesus answered them, can the wedding guests mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast.
The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, on Ash Wednesday, we were reminded of the three Lenten practices of prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. And these practices are things, disciplines, that we are very much encouraged to do during the season of Lent because they help us enter more deeply into the meaning and the spirit of Lent. Prayer, more intensive prayer, fasting, let us fast with meaning and almsgiving, sincere charity to our neighbors. Our readings today focus on fasting. In our first reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah, the people complain to God why do we fast and you do not see it? We afflict ourselves and you do not take note of it. Nagpapakagutom kami pero hindi mo naman napapansin. And when God responded, God told the people of Israel, it is because you are fasting without meaning. You are simply fasting. You control your eating, but it does not mean anything. Worse, your fasting leads you to fight one another. Like what happened in our gospel today, the disciples of John, and the Pharisees, who always fast, were asking Jesus, Why do we fast and your disciples are not fasting? Nagsisilipan pa sa pag-aayuno. Kami nagsasakripisyo, bakit kayo hindi? Kami nagpapakagutom, bakit kayo hindi kayo nag-aayuno, hindi kayo nagsasakripisyo? No wonder God will really will not take notice of that kind of fasting. It is fasting simply to fulfill the law of fasting. But God said, there is much more that I want. Not just fasting that will make you hungry. It is not just fasting from food. It is about fasting in order to do good, to be just, to be charitable. It's not just about fasting from what is more important and what will give meaning to our fasting is fasting to the purpose of our fasting. And you know, my dear brothers and sisters, Usually when we talk of fasting, we commonly say that it is about the voluntary and the deliberate control in eating. Kapag tayo ay nagfa-fasting, ang unang-una nating iniisip, babawasan ko ang pagkain. And that is right. But fasting is more than food. Fasting leads us to deeper truths about life. Kapag pinag-uusapan ng fasting, I always remember our uh, former Archbishop, Cardinal Gaudencio Rosales. You know, Cardinal Rosales, when he was Archbishop of Manila, did not have a cell phone. In fact, he refused to have a cell phone. Even if people would give him 
a cellphone, maraming nagriregalo sa kanya, he will just give the cellphones away. And even we priests begged him, Cardinal, please have a cell phone so that it will be easier for us to contact you and it would be easier for you to contact us. He would still refuse. And one day he told us, please, do not force me because I do not want to get used to things that I can live without. Ayokong masanay sa mga bagay na pwede namang wala sa buhay ko. Sabi niya, tumanda akong ganito na walang cellphone at nabuhay naman ako. Kaya ayokong masanay sa isang bagay na pwede namang wala. My dear brothers and sisters, I think that is the spirit of fasting. Fasting teaches us that there are many things in life that we can live without. Sometimes we think that there are things or there are persons we cannot live without. May mga bagay o tao sa buhay natin na akala natin hindi tayo mabubuhay nang wala ang bagay o ang taong iyan. Parang ang cellphone. Dati naman, nabubuhay tayo ng walang cellphone. Pero ngayon, pag naiwan ng cellphone, sasabihin natin, parang kulang ako. Naging essential na. May mga tao na akala natin ay hindi tayo mabubuhay nang wala sila. Nagmamakaawa tayo. Kulang ako, hindi ako kumpleto, hindi ako mabubuhay kung wala ka sa akin. But try to fast from these things. Try to fast from these persons and you will discover that you will still live. And so you realize that these things, these persons are not really essential because I can live without them. That is what fasting teaches us. Pwede naman palang hindi kumain ng limang beses, anim na beses isang araw, at mabubuhay pa din ako. Pwede naman palang uminom ng simpleng kape, no? kahit hindi ako bumili sa mga mamahaling kape, at mabubuhay pa rin ako. Pwede naman palang hindi kumain ng chocolate o ng uminom ng soft drinks at mabubuhay pa din ako. Pwede naman palang sa isang araw bawasan ko yung oras ng panonood ng videos, ng pelikula, paglalaro sa computer o social media at mabubuhay pa din ako. I think this is also one lesson that this pandemic teaches us, especially during the lockdown, there are things that we can live without. At wag nating saya, sanayin ang buhay, ang ating sarili sa mga bagay na pwede naman palang wala. Kasi pag nasanay na tayo dun sa mga bagay na pwede naman palang wala, aakalain na natin na hindi tayo mabubuhay nang wala ang mga yan. That is true fasting. Let us not just fast from things. Let us fast in order to do good and to be good. Let us fast in order to discover the true essentials of life. Let us fast so that we will discover what are the things or the people we can live without and in discovering them we will also discover those that we cannot live without and if we are able to do that and if we are able to realize that then we are truly fasting that is the fasting 
that pleases the Lord. That is the fasting that catches the eyes of God. Please stand. By fasting, we give God space in our lives. Let us ask the Lord to strengthen us in self-denial that we may set our minds and hearts firmly on Him. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That as followers of Christ, we may conform to the precepts of our Heavenly Father. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. That God's people may persevere in their Lenten sacrifices. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. That all who deny themselves for the Lord's sake may find happiness with Him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick and the dying and those who are faced with life's sorrow may be filled with God's grace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our deceased relatives and friends may freely share in the life of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal petitions. Let us remember the people who requested our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, grant us the strength to devote ourselves to a life in the Spirit that we may rise now above our weaknesses and share fully in the resurrection of our Lord Jesus now and forever. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer, O Lord, the sacrifice of our Lenten observance, praying that it may make our intentions acceptable to you, and add to our power of self-restraint through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should, should, should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. 
Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that, converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed upon us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with this very Spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis our Pope, Broderick our Administrator, all the bishops, and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters, and those of every race and tongue who died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth, where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us now pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say, say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that through partaking of this mystery, we may be cleansed of all our misdeeds and so be suited for the remedies of your compassion through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.